What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun with it. We are rocking out with a Skelly Dirge Trick Room team that also features Weakness Policy Glacier and Belly Drum Snorlax. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content in time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was sent in by a viewer, Paul Mason. Thank you so much for getting me this team. Absolutely love the design of it. And cannot wait to use it on the rank ladder. If you guys want to send me teams, make sure you hit me up over on my Twitter DMs. Link is down in the description below. If you do not have a Twitter, leave your teams down in the comment section down below. I'm looking for a bunch of regulation F teams, teams with brand new Pokemon from the Indigo disc to use on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys send me your teams. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Hatterene, a great Trick Room setter and an awesome Pokemon with a cool typing. It's got Magic Bounce with the Covert Cloak, with Heal Pulse, Dazzling Gleam, Trick Room, and Psychic. In our second slot, we got Belly Drum Snorlax with Thick Fat and the Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Seed Bomb alongside with the Grass Terror type, Crunch, Belly Drum, and Body Slam for its other two moves. In our third slot, we got Glacier over here with Chilling Nay and the Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Ice of Crash or Stab, Stomping Tantrum, Smart Strike, and Protect for its final move. In our fourth slot is the Gen 9 Firestarter Skelly Dirge, a Pokemon that I haven't used on the ladder in a good bit, so gonna be fun to rock out with him. He's got Unaware with the Assault Best Sense item, Rocking Terror Blast, Earth Power, Torch Song, and Shadow Ball. In our fifth slot, we got Blood Moon Ursaluna, a great Pokemon within the Shirk Room and a great Pokemon to pair up with Indeedee and Hatterene. He's got Mind's Eye with the Throat Spray as an item, Rockin' Blood Moon, Earth Power, Hyper Voice, and Protect. In our final slot, it's going to be our second Trick Room Setter and a great support Pokemon for this team. That is going to be Indeedy. It's got Psychic Surge as its ability, Safety Goggles as its item, Psychic, Imprison, Follow Me, and Trick Room for its moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Run the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto the ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Skelly Dirge Trick Room team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and I decided to hop onto the casual ladder for the three battles today, considering I'm tired of facing the same old meta. I'm using a fun team today, so I want to go up against some cool, fun teams that are not just regulation E meta. So, again, we're on the casual ladder. Hopefully, you guys still do enjoy. We're hopping into our first match, and we're still going up against a little bit of a meta team, right? They got Tornadus, they got Fluttermane, Ursa Luna, Sinistra, Chiyu, and last but not least, they do have Iron Hands, so they can fake me out pretty easily. I think going into terrain is going to be perfect for us to counter the fake out, and then we kind of just pop Trick Room from there. Um, they do have Sinistra, which could be rather annoying, so maybe I just want to leave Glacier with that, right? Glacier and Didi, I could pop Trick Room. I could also go into Follow Me with Hatterene and kind of get after it that way. That's definitely an option. That is definitely an option. I could also leave Skelly Dirge. I could definitely also lead Skelly Dirge. Because I feel like they're either going to lead Iron Hands or Sinisha, right? To try to counteract my Trick Room. It is an option. So you know what? I'm going to go Skelly Dirge here. I'm going to go in DD right off the rip. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go Hatterene in DD. Play things simple. Bring Skelly Dirge in the back end. And last but not least, Glacier or Blood Moon Ursaluna. And I'm kind of leaning towards Glacier. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm cool with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But uh, something else I want to go over for you guys is my new upload time. So I'm going to start uploading at my original time. I used to do 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I should say. But uh, my schedule got all out of whack, and I just been uploading late at night, and I want to change that back. So yesterday's video will be at 12 o'clock, and I'm continuing on. I'm going to be trying to upload at 12 o'clock every single day. But we end up going Indeedy and Hatterene. They end up going who? Is that Sinisha? Sinisha and Blood Moon Ursula. So I could go follow me Trick Room if I want to. But I'm just going to pop Trick Room and... I'm just going to start Dazzling Gleam. He could imprison it. Or he could go for Trick Room himself. Do we even want to pop Trick Room here? Not really. I don't... I think they're going to maybe just try to counteract Trick Room here. You know what? I'm just gonna double down in the Ursaluna and go for double psychic. But no, he's just going for Machi Gotcha. So maybe I should just pop the trick room. The Machi Gotcha is gonna fly through here. Psychic's gonna head out after this thing. It does a nice chunk of damage, and he's gonna be able to go for a hyper voice. So I probably should just pop the trick room. Psychic gonna come across here and do enough damage to KO that Ursaluna. 
So that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. So depending on who they bring out here, I might just want to go for like a follow me trick from here, right? Who are you bringing out? That's a real question. Full outer main. Ooh, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. Um, I still want to go for a trick room. Even though we're, we're not going to be able to get this off. Between Macha Gacha and Trick Room, it seems tough news for us, right? I do have some good moves for you guys. I do have some good moves. Um, but yeah, maybe I should just pop Trick Room that turn. I really did think they were going to try to counteract Trick Room with Trick Room. But I do have Follow Me. And what's your terror type? It's Fire. And I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the, the Fire Terror to soak up the shots and pop Trick Room. So we're going to see them Terrastalize as well. Is that going to be a Fairy Terror type? Please don't be a Fairy Terror type. Probably going to be a Fairy Terror type, right? Yeah, Fairy Terror type pops out here. So my plan here is, I think they're going for Dazzling Gleam and Machi Gacha. If I go Fire Terror type, maybe I can soak them up. That's really my play. Maybe I shouldn't have Terrastalize. But if I can pull this off, that could be great. That could be really good for me. We'll see, we'll see. Because maybe I should have saved it for Skelly there to just let both these Pokemon die out. The follow me coming out of here. Let's see how this one plays out. And there's the Dazzle Gleam. Oh, it's looking scary. It's looking scary. Can you eat that up, Hatterene? Yep, waste of a tarot. Waste of a tarot. You get a crit on my Hatterene, so I will never know if we were able to soak that up. I don't think we were able to, after, especially after they Terrastalize. Really hurt the soul. Really hurt the soul. So I'm going to take a double KO here. Um, I saw two great Pokemon in the back end just with... That are, they're just too slow right now. And out comes the Machigacha. So we made the read of the plays. It was more so just trying to soak them up. And I think I kind of forced that terror. But now I got Skelly Dirge. I also have Glacial here, which is great. It's beautiful. Um, huh. What does my play here? I mean, a Shadow Ball could come after a Skelly Dirge, which is a slight little issue. I definitely want to try to go Smart Strike into Torch Song, right? Yeah. I do have a Soul Best, so maybe we could soak up a Shadow Ball? That'd be beautiful. That would be lovely. So he ends up withdrawing the Sinisha. He wants HP for later. And he's going to go into his real question. He's going to go into Iron Hands. If Iron Hands comes out here, he's going to rip a Moon Blast into Glacier here. The Glacier is able to soak. The Glacier is soaking up. Torch Song coming after you. Doing some nice damage, but more importantly, getting that special attack boost. The special attack boost comes out of here. Smart Strike flying. Bringing you down to that Focus Ash, you lucky biscuit that you're Focus Ash. We actually would have had a decent shot at winning this match. But uh, from here, I just protect Glacier because you do have Fake Out. And what I want to do is just get rid of you, right? Yeah, so I'm going to protect the Glacier. We're going to hope we can eat up a Shadow Ball. I'm going to hope Fake Out's coming into Glacier slot. No, you just double down into, into Skeletors, right? We're able to soak that up. That's beautiful. That is lovely. And Drain Punch is coming after. So that's actually not bad. That's not bad because we get the KO here and I'm plus two with Skelly Dirge now. I'm plus two with Skelly Dirge on special attack. They have a slow Iron Hands out here. I am terrified of the Drain Punch and I don't know if I should double down into Skelly Dirge at this point. Or not Skelly Dirge, into Iron Hands. Which I could. I could double down into Iron Hands at this point. Let's see, Sinistra getting after it. Um, oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. I definitely want to go Stompy Tantrum towards some, right? Just in case he goes for the what's it called? Just in case he goes for the follow me move. The Rage Powder. Just in case he goes for Rage Powder. So no Terror types are allowed. This one's actually coming a lot closer than I thought. If we didn't Terrastalize our Hatterene, we probably would have had a better shot at winning this. We'll see how this one plays here. We shall see. I wonder what they're going to go for here. There's the Rage Powder. And again, this is why exactly why I went for Torch Song instead. And Drain Punch is going to fly here. Okay, you actually outspeed. I didn't think you were outspeeding the Glacier. And you outspeed the Skelly Dirge, which is... Oh, that's actually rough that you outspeed the Skelly Dirge. Because that's going to KO you. 
And now we're sitting here with three plus three on special attack. And the problem here is I don't think Skelly Durch can soak up like a like a, a shot from Iron Hands here. And if you can, yo, Earth Power has a hot chance of KO. We're gonna give it a try though. We're gonna give it a try. There's Thunder Punch. Can you soak that? You don't. You don't. So rough place from us. Definitely rough place for us. We end up losing match number one. Coming down to the wire really close. Skelly Durge getting after it. But hey, we're gonna hop into a second match and look for a first victory. Second match on its way. We're sitting 0-1, but that one was kind of on me. I kind of played pretty bad in that first match and tried forcing a trick room with Hatterene when it was on like 50 HP. And yeah, we actually almost won it regardless with Skelly Dirge and Glacier. But if I would have saved my uh, Terror type instead of throwing on Hatterene and just letting him die out, we probably would have had a hot chance to be honest with you guys. But we're going up against a Gengar team here in match number two. We definitely want to set up trick room as soon as possible, right? So I might just go Hatterene and DD and just go follow me trick room, right? Makes the most sense. I feel like the only problem we would have with Trick Room setup would be Dirt and DD pop and Trick Room or have it in prison on it. But that's a stretch. That's a stretch. I'm going to go Hatterene. I'm going to go in DD here for the lead. I think bringing Skelly Dirge is going to be awesome. I think Skelly Dirge can get a lot of work done, especially with its first uh, versatile moveset. So we're going to go in with them. And then last but not least, probably Blood Moon Earth Luna, especially with Mind's Eye. We can hit pretty hard. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves some win here in match number two. And look to go one and one. Because we're 0 1 right now. And I don't like that. I don't like that. So we'll see. But it's cool going on the casual ladder. Like, we're versing Kangaroo today. It's a lot of fun. It is definitely a lot of fun. But they end up going in DD. In DD Urshfu. Now this is making me feel like they have Trick Room, right? It's making me feel like they have Trick Room. It is definitely making me feel like they have Trick Room. Do I just go Dazzling Gleam instead? No, you know, we're going to stick with our guts. We're going to stick with our, our guts here. I'm going to go follow me. I'm going to go Trick Room here. We're hoping that Indeedee is not rocking Trick Room or Imprisoned Trick Room would be worse. But he ends up withdrawing the Urshfu turn one. And Chiyu is now going to come out here. So Chiyu gets cooking. Not too shabby, and that's their Ndidi, right? Or is that my Ndidi? That's their Ndidi, okay. I'm cool with that. So we go follow me on both sides, and now I get to end up just popping Trick Room for free. So I get off Trick Room, I like that. Um, I don't really mind if one of my Pokemon go out here, so I'm just gonna pop a nice little Dazzle Gleam. And I guess I'll Psychic. I guess I'll Psychic here. Just looking to get off some nice damage. The Dazzling Gleam is chunking up some awesome damage. Citrus Berry is going to come out here from the Ndidi. Really hoping Ndidi's not popping Trick Room here. Because that can get ugly real quick, right? That can get ugly real quick. <laughs> if this Ndidi's popping Trick Room, it could definitely get ugly. And he's going to go for a Snarl, which, ooh, that always chunks up some, some damage. And Ndidi is popping Trick Room. Ndidi is popping Trick Room here. And I'm going to have to try to pop this again, to be honest with you guys. We're going to go follow me, Trick Room. We're getting after it. I should have probably imprisoned Trick Room after this. So let's see what they do here. Are they reading me making the Trick Room play? I doubt it. Smile going to come out here. Indeed, he survives that shot, which is massive. And show me he's going for a nice little... Yeah, that works. Because Hattery eats that up. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we're getting Trick Room back out and about. We're not playing around anymore. And we have five turns left in it. <laughs> We're not playing around here. So for me, I could just go into Blood Moon Ursaluna, which is actually pretty solid for us. And yeah, I have Throat Spray, so this is actually it's actually solid for us. We can go Dash and Gleam alongside with Hyper Voice here. And start picking up some KOs. Cool. Cool. I'm all about it. And I can pop a Throat Spray at the same time. And I can pop Throat Spray at the same time. So not bad, not bad for us. They almost countered our Trick Room, which would have been whack. It would have been crazy. I'm surprised he didn't just try popping another Trick Room and just hard reading me setting up a Trick Room. But I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. But not bad, not bad for us. Dazzle Gleam should come out here, finish off Indeedee, which it does. And Blood Moon Earth Luna with this Hyper Voice will finish off the Chiyu. And on top of that, get a special attack boost, which is massive. So we're going to get a plus one here. Plus one on the special attack boost. Beautiful. Good old throat spray with Ursaluna. Good old throat spray. I really want to use Skelly Dirge, but this just seemed like a perfect time to bring out Ursaluna. Do some damage and get the throat spray out, and that's exactly what we did. So, 
Now Urshifu comes out here. Uh, you do have Aqua Jet. Um, you can't actually use Aqua Jet, which is pretty massive for us. And Iron Bundle is going to come out here as well. We have plenty of turns left in Trick Room as well. No first turn priority allowed. We should have a few turns left in Terrain as well. Let's see. Only one. Okay, so one turn there. That has a gleam, 100% our play. And probably just Hyper Voice. Actually, Terra Hyper Voice. Terra Hyper Voice, 100%. 100% because we're going up against a water Pokemon alongside with a uh, an ice Pokemon and fighting like just so many weaknesses for Ursulina but I have grass terror type on Skelly Dirge so to be honest with you guys I'd rather send it here with Ursulina than have grass terror type with iron bundle out on the field just my thought process but grass terror type could have clutched up too especially up against Urshfu but Gleam's gonna fly here Gleam's gonna do a massive amount of damage just dump on Urshfu and Ursulina's gonna say night night here and make this one a quick one. So second match going to us. We got that trick room set up pretty easily. Got Ursuline out there. Had this thing ripping. So one and one so far. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Try to win that one and use Skelly Dirge a little bit more. Final match on its way. And we're going up against a dope team. Look at this team. Dark Rye alongside with Sableye, Hydreigon, Gold Go, Arcanine, and Sinistra. So a few meta Pokemon mixed in with a mythical Pokemon. This is why I love the casual ladder. Having a lot of fun with it. But uh, Trick Room, definitely going to be our friend. We should just go follow me and uh, follow me and Didi with Hatterene, right? Set that up pretty easily and then have like Skelly Dirge come out the back end alongside the glitch here. It just seems like a pretty simple, solid play for us. Something I really like. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. That is exactly what we're going to do here. Looking to go 2-1, and one, grab ourselves a win record, and use Skelly Dirge. I love Skelly Dirge. Such a cool Pokemon. We use him in match number one. Actually start lighting it up. We got a plus three on special attack just by using Torch Song. That move is just so good. It really is. Especially when I use him in like my regular playthrough. I was just ripping with him. I could sweep teams because by the time like you use one or two moves, your Skelly Dirge is one tap because you're just plus two on special attack at that point. So when I versus the Elite Four, it was just like Skelly Dirge, use Torch Song, Torch Song, Torch Song. Next thing I know, I'm plus three on special attack. One shot in every Pokemon on the field. Skelly Dirge is definitely one of those Pokemon that can sweep uh, main games. so Or playthroughs, I should say. It's just the goat. The crocodile. The alligator? Is he a croc or an alligator? I think he's a crocodile because the second stage is crocodile. So, pretty dope. Pretty dope. They end up going into Sableye and Arcanine here. Um... Okay, save light. You're looking a little scary here. You can't fake me out, though. You simply cannot fake me out. You can't really use prankster moves on me either, which is great. And, yeah, this just seems like a simple follow me trick room. No, follow me trick room. Arcanine's just gonna protect her one. Nothing's better than when you're setting up trick room and your opponent just protects her one. Unless you're going for, like, an imprison here. <laughs> that would be annoying. Let's see what they do. No, he sets up a light screen. Okay, so screens on him. Definitely gonna be a little burden for us. Um, we get off the trick room now. That's our main focus. That be our main focus here. Definitely be our main focus. Um, should double down on Arcanine. Actually, Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. I was going to double Psychic, but having Sableye weak to Fairy typing, Dazzling Gleam's got to be your player. So he's going to try to Encore me, silly. Silly guy. We got that Psychic coming up here, which is beautiful. The Dazzling Gleam, chunking up some nice damage. They do have Light Screen up. Hurts Soul. And Saki's gonna get cooked there. So Willow is gonna try to fly, and we actually dodge that. Oh no, we have Magic Bounce. That's great. That is great. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> that is so good. Um, From here, we're just gonna keep dropping Psychic. Psychic, Dazzling Gleam. Psychic, Psychic. We're gonna Psychic, Psychic. We're going to Psychic Psychic, because I think Sableye probably maybe sets up a reflect here or tries doing something. We'll see. What if they start attacking me? I want to get my Skelly Dirge out here, right? Sableye's going to go for Disable. Yo, the terrain is stopping you, dog. You got to understand. You got to understand that the terrain stopping you. I'm going to pick up the double KO, no problem. Just hit too hard with Psychic. My guy, you gotta start attacking me or something. <laughs> I wanna get out Skelly Dirge. I might hard swap into Skelly Dirge here, to be honest. I might just hard swap. This Gold Go is gonna come out here. Um, Yeah, actually, now's a perfect turn to actually hard swap into Skelly Dirge.
That was a perfect turn to swap and skill. Actually, let's do this. Actually, no, 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 no. no. I'm just gonna follow me here. And I'm gonna hard swap you in the skelly dirge. Just in case the make it rain comes out here. I could terrasize into fire, but why not just swap it to my fire crocodile? <laughs> it just makes life ten times easier. I'll get out the love of little skelly dirge here. We're gonna end up seeing a terror type pierce. This is gonna be a steel terror, potentially. It can be. It definitely can be. And it is. It is. So this is big time make it rain coming down. Skelly Dirt should be able to soak. He has a salt vest, it's gonna be not very effective. I get you are terrestrializing, but still. Big time soak ups for Skelly Dirt here. Follow me comes out here and he ends up setting up the reflect. So the reflect comes out and about. Um I'm gonna save my terror type in case we gotta set up another trick room. He's gonna pop the make it rain. Skelly Dirt soaks up all day. And indeed he gets critted on. Get out of my face with that. Getting critted on. A little crazy to me. A little crazy if you ask me. And I think from here, we should just go into you. Yeah, we're just gonna go into you, Glacier. I'm gonna double down in the Golden Go here. I'm double down in the Golden Go. Going straight with the Torch Song and a Stopping Tantrum at the same time. Beautiful. Let's rip it. Let's send it. I could have Terrasphite Skelly Dirge just in case uh, Shadow Ball is coming out here. But again, like, we're Salt Vested. He's minus one on Special Attack now. I think it's a pretty good call for us just to, just to kind of just attack and save our tire type maybe for Hatterene just in case we don't get rid of the golden go we can use Hatterene again to reset the trick room something really good for us hmm we're just hoping we're just hoping golden go really doesn't protect here right because if golden go protects it does have reflecting light screen now so I don't even know if we're KOing it maybe we'll get a crit he, he, he got a crit so we have to get our, uh, a revenge crit we have to get a revenge crit Sableye is really not doing much. It has Reflect. It actually doesn't have any attacking moves. So it can't do anything under this... Under this terrain. It has Encore, Disable, Light Screen, Reflect. So there's the withdrawal of him. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. And Sinistra's gonna come out here. Sinistra. And he's not protecting the Golden which is huge. Because Stop Potential is gonna do a nice chunk of damage. And fingers crossed for Torch Song to finish this thing off. Come on, Skelly. Come on, Skelly Dirge. My man. Skelly Dirge coming in clutch. Big time KO. So now he's forced to bring out Sableye. And I think terrain ends, which... Oh, this, this could get ugly. Do I switch up moves here? Do I switch up moves? Because he's going to disable. He's definitely going to disable. He's not going to... He's gonna disable a move. So by switching up moves and maybe going into Shadow Ball and Icicle Crash would probably be better on our end, right? And just going after Sinisha. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. So our team's actually working out pretty good here. Looking like a 2-1 winning record. We still have Hatterene in the back end, which is great. They don't really have any big time attackers here. So I just feel as it's just gonna be us just doing damage, but they end up canceling the match. And there it is, 2-1 winning record with the Skelly Dirge Trick Room team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1. Grab you guys that winning record. Love using Skelly Dirge in today's video. Had a lot of fun with it and rocked out with it pretty well. First match, it was doing some work. Second match, it didn't really do work. Actually, no, we didn't even use it in second match. We just used Ursuluna in second match. And then third and final match, it was doing work again. Getting off some big time torch songs, taking out Golden Go through Light Screen, and making our opponent cancel the battle. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.